so this is kind of awkward okay uh i don't know if you guys noticed but over the last couple of weeks i haven't really been posting a lot of rise of kingdoms content in fact i haven't really been posting that many videos uh in general and the reason for that is because since about february 9th or so i haven't really been playing rise of kingdoms what's going on guys cheers back to the roots baby so on February 9th, I posted a video kind of going over some changes coming to the game. And at the end of that video, I had this to say, I've barely been logging into ROK lately just because it just, it's been, it's been, I, I don't know. Like I just, I need like a little bit of a, I need like a little bit of a break. That's all. That's all. Okay. I'm not quitting the game. Now at the time when I recorded that, uh, I didn't actually think that I was going to take a break from the game, but with all the time I was spending on infinity kingdom and all of the time that I just wasn't having fun, uh, in rise of kingdoms, it just slowly, I just slowly stopped logging in throughout the day. Now, listen, I did, I did keep my, uh, my login streak. Okay. I kept the login streak. I did the dailies. I, I, it wasn't even like, I didn't even finish all the dailies every day. Okay. For the last month um some days i would finish them some days i wouldn't uh, i completely missed karak ceremony i think i did the more than gems seven thousand gems per day i haven't done anything in kvk like literally nothing and i'm sure that i will pay the price for that dearly uh for my alliance basically real like knowing that i'm complete i've been useless to this kvk i've been i haven't moved from like the starting zone pretty much i haven't even sent out gatherers that's how much i haven't been playing rise of kingdoms and i want to talk a little bit about that i think if you guys have been following the channel for a while you probably i'd sort of understand my general idea but before we go any further what the fuck is this what 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 is this dude what, like lilith how like how many how many i swear one day i'm gonna log in and it's just gonna be like hey it's actually 99 cents to log in today like how many times are you gonna monetize the game dude anyway uh i was just sort of burnt out yeah i was just sort of burnt out of the game um i know like in december and even into like january for a bit um i posted a lot of content um i did a lot of sponsored stuff because that was like the holiday season uh and then i think i just kind of burnt myself out and i know that you know if you've watched other content creators i know that um creator burnout is something that they talk about and it may be hard to like think about or rationalize as somebody who just sort of views content and i know back in the day i definitely uh, I definitely felt that way. I was like, what do you mean create a burnout? Like you play a video game for like money. Like how is that hard to do? But it, it actually is kind of taxing. Um, the most taxing part about that is when you're not enjoying the game that you're playing. And so by the time January ended, I was like, what am I even doing in this game? Like, I don't have goals in rise of kingdoms anymore. And I think that's one of the problems that they need to, to focus on. Uh, and of course this does fall back on me personally. Like, you know, obviously I should be responsible for setting my own goals and what I want to do with my account. But realistically speaking, you know, every single time there's an update, it seems like there's a new thing to spend money on. And I don't want to spend money on crystal technology. I just don't, that feels like throwing money in the garbage. And I, I don't know if that's like a requirement to be good at the game. I don't really want to do it. Right. So I have to reevaluate re how I want to approach, um, rise of kingdoms moving forward. Obviously I'm back. Okay. I'm, I'm logging in. I'm, I'm playing the game. Okay. And I understand now one thing I want to notice, this is a total side note, by the way, this is the rise of kingdom, like the official rise of kingdoms, uh, desktop application. There must've been like a really big update in the last few days. Cause this is smooth baby. This is smooth. And I can change the window size now, which was like my biggest complaint. And I think you could make purchases in here. Not that I will because obviously Google play store, but anyway, yeah. So, so I'm back. Okay. We're, we're not quitting the game. All right. We're going to keep making content for rise of kingdoms. I've started to think about new content ideas. Um, but I was sort of just burnt out. Like, I feel like I, I put out so many videos last year in 2021. Um, really like I hit the ground running around springtime and I feel like I just pumped out videos throughout the year. I, I didn't really take a, a, any sort of breaks last year. Um, obviously I think at the beginning of last year, I wasn't really that active, but I would say from like this time last year until up until like a month ago, I kind of was just like all in on the gas pedal. And I just, I don't know. I sort of just like ran out of video ideas. I ran out of passion for the game. I, I don't really like the direction or I, I, the direction the game's going is not great. Right. I think everybody can sort of agree on that. And so I just, I just needed a break. 
I just needed a break and hopefully you guys understand uh, where I'm coming from and why there may have been uh, a lack of rise of kingdoms videos in the past month I mean if you look back on my last few rise of kingdoms videos we talked about the exposing rise of kingdoms gem scammer that wasn't even like a rise of kingdoms video it was obviously themed around rise of kingdoms but I didn't play the game for that how to get free gems in rise of kingdoms that was more of like the meta game on like how to maximize value for gems uh, for dollars spent that wasn't really me playing the game uh the best epic and legendary pairs video that one you guys seem to like a little bit I was happy with that one but I didn't really play the game for that one either I was pretty much just in tier maker right and just discussing the commanders in general so you really have to go back to and then we talked about refund scammers right like if you go back through my last few rise of kingdoms videos um I'm not really playing the game at all which is which is really funny but I'm making this video to let you guys know sort of why I I had a uh, sort of creative burnout um and why I'm you know I just don't really I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the direction the game is taking but um I've realized that I shouldn't take it so seriously like it's a video game at the end of the day right and sure does Lilith have a five-year plan it doesn't seem like they do okay it, let's just be real all right the, the latest update was oh we're gonna release a new kvk every three months like okay that's not a good strategy bro it's let's let, let's be real for a minute that's a terrible strategy. but anyway at the end of the day it's a video game do i like rise of kingdoms yes do i like making videos about it yes do i like talking about it yes so i'm gonna keep playing the game okay i'm gonna keep playing the game uh i i just needed a break i needed like a month off uh to just sort of chill um and on top of that there's just like real world stuff like i, I have a job outside of here I, I don't know if you guys know that but i have a job outside of here um recently I was able to readjust my schedule with that so I think it'll be more manageable moving forward it'll give me more time to focus on making content for you guys but I kind of just came to the conclusion like I don't want to just make a video to make a video like that's one of the traps that you fall into if you're a content creator is that you feel like you have to constantly be putting out content and and to for to an extent that's sort of true right the algorithm is built to get people to start watching videos and then they want you to keep watching videos right and so the more content you're putting out the more videos people can watch of yours and the more happy the algorithm is and so I pretty much took a pretty big dip in viewership in the last month because I just I just couldn't do it I just couldn't post content consistently and there was just a lot of factors for that a lot of it having to do with the state of the game but also just that creator burnout real life stuff going on behind the scenes and uh, I just couldn't I just couldn't do it man I just couldn't do it. it it's I know it sounds silly like oh you couldn't play a video game like I literally couldn't I I literally couldn't do it it's just I don't know I I hope that changes moving forward like I want to see some really good updates for the game and I think right now we're entering spring season and I think that uh, there's it's possible that we could see some pretty big updates in the next couple of months I think new infantry commanders are right around the corner like very close I think so we should be seeing those pretty soon fingers crossed I literally have look at this guys I've look at this okay I have 1351 legendary commander sculptures just sitting there just chilling doing nothing so if these two new legendaries for infantry are god tier then your boy's just gonna max them off the rip although my alliance uh, or kingdom probably won't let me uh get enough sculptures to unlock him because i've been so useless this kbk totally understand honestly i don't really expect anything else but regardless i have enough sculptures to max them out um what do i expect for these new infantry commanders i know there's already some rumors going around out there um i think someone said something about hercules or something i, I think that's all fake okay if you guys have seen those leaks uh leaks those rumors I don't think that's real at all so don't even worry about that um i'm hoping we see my, my prediction is we'll see one garrison commander um i think that obviously nevsky is a huge force right now he's uh he's a savage right he is an absolute savage where is he um i've considered maxing him myself just because like he's just such a savage um and i think that with him being rally meta we may see another infantry garrison come into the game that's really powerful to sort of counter nevsky rallies um so that's one thing I hope one of them is really powerful in the open field I want to see like Alexander 2.0 or Alexander 3.0 or Gu Guan Yu 2.0 right I want to see something new something fresh uh something really like oh my god like infantry are good in the open field not just like they're okay like infantry are popping off in the open field that's what I want to see and of course I'm biased because your boy has focused so much on infantry but you already know that's kind of uh what I'm hoping for okay obviously we already know we're getting a new civilization coming into the game I think that's probably going to happen around summertime unless they decide to release two civs this year in which case one of them may come in the spring one may come in the fall or holiday season um more than likely we'll see probably just one civilization coming uh this year but who knows I could be wrong uh we could be wrong about that obviously last year we only saw Vikings 
so it's just one um but yeah between between that and the new kvk formats coming out the new commanders coming out i think right now you know i me taking a break for the month month of february um was probably a good time to take a break right because i think that things are going to start to pick up now with rise of kingdoms i think more things are going to be happening moving forward uh and i think there's an opportunity for me to go back and sort of review some older content that i've made and and try to revise that content make it a little bit better for you guys you know some some of my older guides some of those things um are a little bit outdated at this point so i think uh there's definitely an opportunity there plus i think there's a lot of new players playing rise of kingdoms that maybe haven't seen the videos that i posted a year and a half ago right so that's sort of what we're what we're looking at for the direction of the channel i just wanted to give you guys an update where i've been why there hasn't been so much rise of kingdoms content on the channel but you guys can expect more rise of kingdoms content coming soon uh along with you know we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be switching things up on the channel a little bit okay um obviously it's still gonna be primarily rise of kingdoms but i do want to add different games uh different things to do because again i don't feel confident in lilith's uh five turn five year plan if they even have one um it, it, again i i'm not even like trying to be funny i really just don't think they have one i really don't think they uh thought they would make it this far maybe I don't I don't know I don't know but it seems like every update they make is worse than the last one that's just my opinion I don't know if you guys feel that way but regardless I do want to focus on other things that I'm interested right I'm interested in tech I'm interested in the gaming industry as a whole I'm interested in uh just the content creator scene right so I may make videos talking about other topics giving my uh, insight into certain things in the industry who knows if you guys want to see anything particular from me let me know in the comment section below I do want to sort of revisit Clash Royale Al. I don't know if you guys have played that game before if you or if you used to play it or whatever the case is um I haven't played it in a long time uh, but I used to be addicted to that game before this game came out before I played rise of kingdoms um and so I think there's an opportunity for me to at least revisit it for one video what do you guys think about that I think that could be that could be fun see how the game has changed since back when I used uh you know my deck mained like what is it fire spirits uh bats and pekka I think that's what I used uh I, I don't remember but yeah that that could be really fun so anyway guys I just wanted to make this quick video uh, letting you know sort of about my creative burnout and and why I haven't really been playing the game um but moving forward I will be excited to talk about what is coming next for rise of kingdoms and if there's any more BS dude if there's any more garbage if there's any more snakes in the grass if there's any more greed coming out of Lilith like this shit right here dude this garbage this absolute atrocity look at this what is this dude look at that you should be ashamed of yourself Lilith you should be ashamed of yourself your boy Omniarch is not going anywhere when it comes to calling out your absolute shamelessness with the amount that you are trying to monetize this dying game okay I'm gonna be here till the very end letting you guys know to avoid trash like this do not give Lilith uh money that they do not deserve make them make the game good first and then spend money that's the best way that we can move forward and every time that there is an update in the system here we go ahead and we give them feedback now there's no feedback button down here what is this what are they afraid of what i have to say are they scared of me are, are you you y'all freaking out a little bit you think i'm gonna tell you the truth and you don't want to hear it oh and don't buy ragnar in this okay don't buy this is this is horrible this is a joke okay anyway guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps up the channel a ton it helps get it out into the algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys uh, i would like to know your thoughts comment down below what you think of the state of rise of kingdoms and what content you'd like to see me post if it's not rise of kingdoms thank you so much for watching guys i will talk to you guys again soon this has been omniarch peace